Welcome to the SolidCam University channel. This video's topic is engraving in InventorCam. So in InventorCam, we do have an engraving toolpath. If I just right click here, add milling operation and engraving. We'll see that we have an engraving toolpath and it works off of the same sort of geometry you would use in profile. So that could be lines and arcs, um, in this case, we're going to see how we can use this engraving toolpath on text geometry. And what this is going to require is us to create the text inside of Inventor. So let's take a look at how we do that. Get out of here. We'll go to modeling. So model, modeling, right click on design model, and we'll edit the design model. That gives us the ability to go in there and add sketches. I will right click on the top face. We'll say new sketch. And I'd like to orient, orient that text to maybe that, uh, along that face. So I'm just going to draw a line along that face. Make sure that it's horizontal. Just that single line. And let's make that line construction geometry. Just so that we can differentiate between the text and the orientation. We'll go to text, geometry text. That way we can use that line. Since that line was already highlighted, it chose it for me. Otherwise, I would have to just go here and click on that line. Uh, I want the text to be maybe a little bigger. We'll center it. And I'm actually just going to put in some some words here. So let's just say <coughs> Venter Cam 2020. I'll click OK. And there is our text. So a little oversized there. I can go back in there if I really need to. I'll just go and edit geometry. And we can make it smaller, or in this case, let me just make it smaller like that. Okay, so there we go. So now we have some text, but this is not geometry we can use in the engraving toolpath. We need to turn this into some sort of uh, geometry that we can use. So what we'll do is while we're still inside the sketch, right click, convert to geometry. And you'll see right away what's overlaid on top is the actual text geometry, the lines and the arcs we can use in our engraving. Um, now, I've converted that previous text into this format here, but you have all these other ones here you can use. And they have their different font styles, aesthetics. I'm just gonna use ISO because it gives me that nice straight line that we're looking for. So I'll just click OK, and it actually converted it into geometry that I can use. So what I'll do now is I will finish the sketch, click Return to get out of the design model, Return to Inventor Cam Manager, and now we can add that engraving toolpath. Okay, so I'll click New Geometry. And here, if I zoom in here, I can choose the individual line, but again, I'm looking to try and get this mass selection. So because this is geometry inside of my Inventor file, I'll just go right down here to Multi Chain. And again, I can't choose the text option, so I'll want to grab that all in one go. We know it's a single sketch, so I'll go to CAD selection, go back to my model tree here, click on that single sketch. Once I click resume, you can see that it highlights all of it, and then build chains. And it converts all of that into text geometry that I can use. It's essentially just converting it into the lines and the arcs. Now, that orientation line was also included. So I'll just go through my list here, find, in this case, chain seven, right click and delete. So I'm not actually engraving the orientation line. And then from there, click finish. I'll choose my tools. So let's just go with engraving tool. Levels, and at this point, it's all pretty much the same sort of stuff you would have done before. Let's just give it a little bit of a depth there. We'll tell it that we want to go down the center line, save and calculate, and then we get a toolpath that engraves the part. <clears throat> Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at SolidCamSupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.